What's going on gamers? Today, let's go over the abandoned connection error in Minecraft Bedrock. Obviously playing Minecraft on a server can be awesome, and for a few different reasons, it's people's preferred way over single player. That being said, with Bedrock, some players might come across a specific error, the abandoned connection closed. There are a few solutions to fix this, but it depends on your situation, so let's jump into it. Before we try to resolve the situation, you should probably understand what it means. This helps narrow down the cause of it, along with picking the correct method to fix it. With this in mind, the first detail is that this is primarily going to impact Bedrock Edition across Windows and gaming consoles. The Java Edition has a similar error, which we do also have a guide to, but it's not going to look the exact same. This particular issue also only happens when you're trying to join the server, so single player isn't going to be affected. The most popular way to fix the abandoned connection closed error is to restart or reinstall Minecraft. This means you either close out the game on your device and relaunch it, or simply re-download it to effectively reset the connection. Players tend to restart Minecraft before reinstalling anything, but make sure you know that these methods go hand in hand, and you might need to try both for your best shot at fixing the problem. Instead of restarting your game, rebooting the router in your home might be a better fix. This machine manages your internet, meaning turning it off and on will reset the connection. Just make sure you let anyone in the house know that you're about to do this because it will take all of the devices offline while it resets. As for doing it, all you have to do is unplug the router and plug it back into the slot. And if that doesn't resolve the problem, you can try restarting your computer or your console instead. If nothing seems to be working to fix the abandoned connection closed error in Minecraft, then there are still a few more options left. One of these includes logging out of your account associated with the game and then signing back in. And another possibility is rebooting your Minecraft server. In cases where you're able to join Realms or other multiplayer sessions, then we suggest starting with that. Now, if you want to keep up to date with any of our future tutorials, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. Getting any error that prevents you from playing your game is frustrating, but at least now if you get this one, you'll know exactly what you can do to fix it whether it's a full reinstallation or a quick server reboot, and you'll be back to exploring once again. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.